Introduction Aditya, are you free? Yes, Mom. I want you to go to the grocer and ask him to deliver 25 kgs of wheat flour, okay? I'll do that, Mom. How much shall I pay him? Um, 1 kg of wheat flour costs 25 rupees. So pay the grocer 625 rupees for 25 kgs. Wow, Mom. That was fast calculation. <laughs> Thanks, Aditya. Take 700 rupees and bring back the balance, okay? Uh, yeah, I know. The grocer will return 75 rupees. <laughs> Good calculation, Aditya. In this lesson, you will learn about money. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Compute value of many objects from value of one object. Calculate value of one object from value of many objects. Work out value of many objects from value of some objects. Money Anusha wants to buy two dresses, each costing 650 rupees. How much does she pay to the shopkeeper? Cost of one dress is 650 rupees. Cost of two dresses is equal to 650 into 2, which is 1350 rupees. Anusha pays 1350 rupees to the shopkeeper. Let us look at another example. Chotu works as a porter at a railway station. He takes no leaves and earns 9,000 rupees in 30 days. How much does he earn in a day? Chotu's earnings in 30 days is 9,000 rupees. Chotu's earnings in a day is 9,000 rupees divided by 30, which is 300 rupees. Chotu earns 300 rupees in a day. Using money. Money is used to make purchases. It is also used to pay people wages and salaries for their work. In order to understand and use money better, let us learn to compute value of money and value of one. Value of many. Ramu is a gardener. People engage his services and pay him 210 rupees for a day. In the year 2011, he worked for 312 days. How much did he earn in 2011? Ramu's earnings per day is 210 rupees. Number of days Ramu worked is 312. Total amount Ramu earned in year 2011 is 210 into 312. Let us break the multiplication into four steps. First, we multiply 200 and 300. Then, 10 and 300. Then, 212. Then, 10 and 12. Now we add up the products to get 65,520 rupees. Therefore, Ramu earned 65,520 rupees in year 2011. Radha is a doctor. She charges 625 rupees for a consultation. In a day, she receives 12 patients. If she works 23 days in a particular month, how much will she earn? Radha's fee for one consultation is 625 rupees. Number of patients in a day is 12. Number of patients in 23 days are 23 into 12, that is 276. Total earnings of Radha in the month is 625 into 276. Let us learn another technique of multiplication. First, we multiply 625 by 6. Then we multiply 625 by 70. Finally, we multiply 625 by 200. We add the three products to get 1,72,500 rupees. 
Therefore, Radha earns 1,72,500 rupees. Value of 1 Vivan buys 30 kgs of mangoes and spends 1,500 rupees. How much does 1 kg of mangoes cost? Cost of 30 kgs of mangoes is 1,500 rupees. Cost of 1 kg of mangoes is 1,500 divided by 30, that is 50 rupees. A kilogram of mangoes costs 50 rupees. Let us verify our division. Cost of 1 kg of mangoes is equal to 50 rupees. Cost of 30 kg of mangoes is equal to 15 to 30 which is equal to 1500 rupees. As per the question, Vivan spends 1500 rupees on 30 kg of mangoes. So, we verify that our division operation is correct. Sujata's son is getting married. Her house is full of guests. She buys 32 litres of milk to prepare kheer for the guests. If she pays 1120 rupees to the milkman, what is the cost of 1 litre of milk? Cost of 32 litres of milk is 1120 rupees. Cost of 1 litre of milk is 1120 divided by 32. Let us learn to divide 1120 by 32. Write the two numbers as shown here. Consider the digits of 1120. The first digit, 1, is too small to hold 32. The first two digits together, that is 11, are again too small to hold 32. Now consider the first three digits together. 112 112 is big enough to hold 3 times 32 that is 96 therefore write 3 on the right side and 96 beneath 112 write 3 on the right and 96 beneath 112 subtract and write the difference 16 below Bring 0 down. The new number formed is 160. It holds 5 times 32, that is 160 exactly. Write 5 to the right of 3 and 160 beneath 160. Subtract as the difference is miscellaneous problems on money. Now let us apply both the concepts together. In solving money problems, Kishore is a daily wage worker. He earns 2,457 rupees in 7 days. How much will he earn if he works 52 days? First, we work out the earnings of Kishore for one day. Earnings of Kishore in 7 days is 2,457. Earnings of Kishore in one day is equal to 2,457, which is equal to 351 rupees. Now we work out his earnings for 52 days. Earnings of Kishore in 52 days is 351 into 52, which is equal to 18,252. Therefore, Kishore will earn 18,252 in 52 days. It takes 240 rupees to fill a car with petrol. How many cars can be filled with petrol by spending 1,200 rupees? Number of cars that can be filled with petrol by spending 240 rupees is equal to 1. Number of cars that can be filled with petrol spending 1,200 rupees is equal to 1200 divided by 240, that is 5. 5 can be filled with petrol by spending 1200 rupees. So far, we have answered questions given to us. Let us now frame some questions. Look at this beginning of a word problem. 
A kilogram of cake costs 25 rupees. Aruna buys 5 kgs. Which of the following are suitable questions for it? What is the cost of 5 kgs? Who will pay for the 5 kilograms? How much will Aruna pay for 5 kilograms? Will 5 kilograms be sufficient? Yes, option A and C are suitable questions for the given word problem. Option B and D cannot be answered on the basis of the given information. Therefore, they are not suitable questions. Self-assessment. Read the questions carefully and click on the correct option. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. We multiply to calculate the value of money objects from 1. We multiply to calculate the value of many objects from 1. We first divide and then multiply to work out on the value of many objects from the value of some.